Here's the latest little tinker project. A friend of mine picked this up at a ham fest. It's a homebrew novice transmitter, 6L6, and um, very well made. Got a unique little feature to it that I'll show you in a second. You might be able to spot it on the front panel there. <laughs> Nothing is labeled, but whoever built this did a really nice job. Link coupled, plug-in coils. There's a coil. That's a Hammerland coil form. And uh, two bands, 40 and 80. About 10 to 12 watts output. So uh, let me show you what it looks like under the hood. Okay, here's what it looks like inside. Um, you, you got a, uh, a rectifier, 5V4, very nice looking uh, transformer here, a stand core choke, 6L6, 6AG7, nice homemade wound uh, current meter shunt here, all on a very nice chassis. And of course the coil, um, the one that's in there right now is for 40 and that's the 80 meter link coupled output coil. Okay, here's the underneath view. Um, very well laid out and constructed. I, you know, I don't know if you can pick out the detail here, but for example, look at the wiring harness that he has all wrapped up here um, the old fashioned way. Some new uh, high voltage caps here, uh, three wire AC line cord, but most of the rest of it is uh, all original. And the back there's the uh, output, I've got it set up for uh, uh, into a dummy load, although you can use open wire feeders. And there's a little switched 120 volt AC jack back there that when you go into transmit, um, you got power for a Dow key, really. So, all in all, very, very well done. Okay, so here it is inside the cabinet. I don't have it bolted in. Um, I'm just laying in there for now, but you can get an idea. The cabinet needs, you know, refinishing or whatever. But it's got the little trap door in it, so you can change coils and, um, there's a switch down there for 40 or uh, 80 meters. Got to make sure that's in the right position. That takes care of the input tuning, the grid tuning. But very, very nice. Little uh, TLC on that cute little cabinet there. and Some labels on the front and they look pretty good. So let's fire it up. Okay, I just turned the power on. We're going to let these... Uh, Old valves warm up a little bit. Plug a key in. And um, just uh, wait a second here. Let me pause this while everything gets stabilized. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're on uh, 40 meters, 7040. And um, this switch here turns on the high voltage and you can see the uh, little uh, magic eye tuning tube there I hope <laughs> it's kind of cool um, we're reading what are we reading here we're reading about uh, 410 or so volts at no load and I have a 7040 crystal in and a receiver tuned to that frequency so here you go. About 65 mils and um, plate voltage drops to about 320 or so. But here's the deal now. Uh, if I adjust this control, watch the magic eye tube there. There we go. little eye candy for you 
and if I go over here to the watt meter which doesn't want to focus take my word for it it's about 10 12 watts depending on the crystal and it works uh, identical on 80 meters about 10 12 maybe 14 watts out uh, at the most under these conditions so pretty nice novice style crystal controlled link coupled cathode keyed homebrew transmitter with the very cool magic eye. There you go. Keep tinkering, everybody. Pretty cool uh, ham fist find.